So you've probably heard about creatine monohydrate, one of the most popular muscle building supplements on earth, but is it possible that creatine monohydrate supplements may have other effects in the body, such as improving memory? Let's look at the proof. The idea that creatine might improve memory may not be so far-fetched because the brain is able to make its own creatine and giving creatine supplements to healthy people also has been shown to increase the energy supply to brain cells. In this paper, 45 men and women who were either vegans or vegetarians were given five grams of creatine monohydrate or placebo each day for six weeks. They were also given before and after memory tests, and the results revealed that those taking creatine supplements had better short-term memories and scored higher on intelligence tests compared to those who took a placebo. Now, the easy answer here is that vegans and vegetarians probably had lower levels of creatine than meat eaters, but other studies have shown that the levels of creatine in the brains of vegetarians doesn't appear to be different than that of meat eaters. Older folks generally are expected to have lower levels of creatine, and this is partially explained by the loss of muscle mass caused by sarcopenia. In this paper, 15 men and women in their 70s were given 20 grams of creatine monohydrate each day for two weeks before and after memory tests revealed that those who were taking creatine supplements performed better on long-term memory tests but ironically didn't do so well on counting numbers backwards, which is a test of short-term memory. Now, as for athletes, creatine monohydrate appears to not only improve muscle strength, but also improve memory in mountain bikers and also offset the effects of sleep deprivation in rugby players. Now, to be fair, not all studies have shown that creatine improves memory, such as this clinical trial that you're looking at here involving young people where creatine did not improve memory after six weeks of use. Notice the amount of creatine used here. It was based on how much someone weighed. In other words, the more they weighed, the more creatine they took. And here is what that dosage might look like. I'd speculate that most of the people in this study probably use creatine at the lower end of the scale, since we're also told that these individuals had a healthy body mass index and thus were not obese. In this review of six previous clinical trials of creatine and memory, creatine appeared to improve short-term memory, reasoning, and intelligence in healthy people and also benefit older folks who were under stress as well. We also have this paper where the researchers analyzed the effects of eight previous creatine memory studies and concluded also that creatine taken at a dosage of between two and 20 grams a day for several weeks has beneficial effects on older adults. And incidentally, it also appeared to work better in older folks compared to those who were younger. So most of the research on creatine improving memory appears to have positive outcomes, although I would point out that the vast majority of these papers are small in number. In other words, they have less than 100 people. So I would like to see larger clinical studies conducted. If you're gonna experiment with creatine, I would suggest starting at the lower end of the spectrum, maybe between two and five grams a day. That's similar to what a lot of weightlifters will be taking as well. I don't see much evidence that the vast majority of people need to be taking 20 grams a day. And like all dietary supplements, if you take any medications, talk your doctor and pharmacist for more insights. If you've tried creatine to improve your own memory, leave a comment below and let me know what happened. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.